right guys, I'm going to show you how to do a gimbal core board calibration for your DJI Mavic Air. Um, if you replace the gimbal, or the gimbal assembly if you will, um, on the Mavic Air, you'll, you'll see that you need to do a core board calibration. And this is a calibration that cannot be done through the, um, through the phone app. So a few things we're going to need to do. First, we're going to need to install Python 3. Uh, so you can just download the release of Python 3. I'm using a Windows system. I always like to use um, the stable release. So I'm using 377 here. I have a 64-bit machine. So I'm going to download the 64-bit installer. One thing I like to do during the install is I like to do customize. Um, you can just leave all this stuff here, like the test suite and what have you. Um, but I like to change this install location. I don't really like it under my user folder. I like to create a new folder under my C drive. And I like to call it Python 3.7. So now we can see that it's going to be installed here. And you'll see the reason why I do this um, later. Okay, now that that's installed, we can go check on it. So you can just open a command window and change directory to where you installed it and there should be an executable called Python. And as you can see here, Python 3.7 is installed. This is the Python prompt. So now that I've got that installed, um, you want to install, you need the uh, Pi Serial module. And you're going to use a, uh, another Python module called pip to install this, like so. Okay. So now that that is installed, successfully installed, PySerial 3.4, we're good there. The next thing we want to do is download uh, the DGI Assistant. And the reason we're doing this is to get the USB driver for the Mavic Air itself. We're actually not going to use this program. But if you go on, you know, the DJI software's area on their website, we can see if you click on this uh, Assistant 2, it's compatible with the Mavic Air. So this is the one we're going to want. I'll download the EXE. Okay. Now that that's downloaded, we will run the install. Set the terms. Doesn't really matter where you put this. I let it put it in its default location. I don't really need a desktop shortcut. Okay. Actually, we don't need to launch this assistant. Just finish the installation. Okay. Now that that's there and the driver should be there, um, I like to run this command mode. And you can see right now, I don't have my DJI Air connected to the system yet. And you can see I have basically one COM device, one, one communication device, COM3. And what you'll see is after I connect the Mavic Air to my PC, I'll get another COM port. And this is important because we need that COM port information um, to pass into the tool. So 
make sure your gimbal cover is off, obviously, um, and then go ahead and power up your Mavic Air. Once it's powered up, you're going to put a US, the USB-C uh, cable. Make sure it's a cable that's not just a charge cable. It's actually got, um, you know, the, the data wires hooked up in the USB cable. There are some USB uh, cables that are meant only for charging, so they, don't, they won't pass any data. Uh, but, yeah, you're going to plug that into your PC. And you'll notice um, that you'll get like the driver install window and it'll tell you that it's connected. So now if I run this mode command again, you can see that now I have COM9. And that's the, that's the Mavic Air right there. So to run the tool, we need to download these DJI firmware tools. And this is a GitHub repo, so you're going to go to this address to get, you know, to the to the GitHub repo, and then just do do this download zip. That comes down like this, and I like to drop this repo right into the root of my C drive. And that's, so there it is. I'm just going to rename it. I like to take this master part off. Just leave it as that. So now I've got this folder, expanded folder in my um, C drive with the DJI firmware tools. And we're going to navigate there. All right, so now I'm in there. You can see all the, the Python scripts in there. And the Calibrate, we're going to run two different commands. There's two different core board gimbal calibration commands, the joint course and the linear hall. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to run Python. Just paste this in and what we're doing is calling Python Python 37 from the directory that I installed it on and this dot slash basically means look in the directory I'm in now which is the DGI firmware tools directory and run this com OG service tool Python script and this needs to be the com port that you found in the mode command so mine was com 9 VV is just verbosity so that we can see what's going on. And the target device that we're working on is, is a Maverick Air. So that's the Mav Air right here. And let's do the Gimbal Calib Joint Course. And when you run this, um, well, you'll see what happens. Gimbal goes through a range of motions. Don't worry about this error that comes back here. The command is sent successfully, and you can see the gimbal is going through the calibration process. The response that was received was not understood by the, this DGI software tool that. Uh, that was developed. I'm not sure why. I haven't looked into it. But the calibration still works, as you can see. So when this finishes, it only takes a few seconds to finish. It, um, it kind of just sits in this position and kind of wiggles back and forth like this. All you got to do is pick it up 
and it's it stops doing that. So now let's do that was the joint course. What we'll do now is the linear hull. And again, you can see that the command was sent successfully. It's going through a range of motions again. This one takes a little bit longer to complete. There you have it. Commands have completed and um, your, your new gimbal is now um, synchronized, calibrated with the core board. As you can see, it um, takes a little while, it's a little bit longer to run, but when it's finished, the gimbal will just point straight out.